what's going on guys welcome back once again it is me molt so happy to be here with you guys today playing some more class royale guys look at this it's the beginning of the season and i'm already up to 45 21 if we go to local that is fourth we are fourth right now we're playing really really well here's the deck that i'm using right here um it's a pretty fun deck it's got the mirror in it it's got a lot of things that need to be zapped um and I mean, it's just been fun playing with this um and so i'm gonna go ahead and show you all this in action against uh, a couple of decks that you may think it would lose against like giant poison um and things like that so i'm gonna show you all that and then we're gonna get some live uh some live action going all right all right guys so we're facing somebody from stk which is one of the better clans in the game right now this isn't giant poison but it is bowler poison miner okay so um he also has a zap and an ice spirit which doesn't work too well uh with minions so we do have to keep that in mind he's gonna start off right here uh very early with not a good decision <laughs> um he does have a zap spell but that's not gonna do much to our minions as they come in here and uh completely shred this and then we're gonna go ahead and throw in our goblin barrel as well and that's gonna keep one of the minions alive for a little bit longer and it's gonna be able to do uh some work there so right now he is about to uh mirror he's not gonna mirror he's gonna throw down his miner and uh, we're gonna have a little bit of trouble but not too much we're gonna defend with the minions and then we're gonna turn that into a push as you guys know you always got to turn your defense into an offense he's gonna drop off a bowler and our minions are full health right now so they're going to be able to take that bowler out before the tower even uh kills them and then we're going to be able to get off one more shot right there almost two with those minions guys minions are strong if you don't have them in your deck definitely throw some in your deck as you learn how to play them and as you learn how to hide them from people uh, you can do amazing things so we just mirrored our miner right there he is going to get off a poison um, but we are going to be able to get off a couple of shots before they all die from that poison spell um now he's going to come in with his ice spirit and his um uh miner right there so we're gonna go ahead and do some work with our minions look at the minions guys they do work on the miner we're gonna be able to throw over our gb right here little goblin barrel he's got nothing for it so we're gonna be able to take that tower out easy peasy we knew that he used too much elixir right there um so we were good to go now what's he gonna do He's going to drop off his Elixir Collector, it looks like. And he also doesn't know that I have an Inferno Tower yet, guys. So there are some games where I don't play the Inferno Tower. Um, maybe in double, uh, in overtime, I'll throw it down just to have it down. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this. His bowler is going to hit two of my goblins. Um, and then the other one right there at the end of that. And now he's going to go ahead and throw his miner over here. Not too sure why he's playing it like that. We're going to we're gonna counter with the full-on minion horde. Um... Then we're going to shoot over to that other tower, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do some work with these minions right here. I'm not going to drop off my uh, Inferno quite yet. I don't think he's going to get off one bowl there, which isn't too much. And he's going to head back over here to our side. We're going to go ahead, drop off some Spear Gobs, surround, um, get our minions going. He just zapped over there trying to take that tower out. He's going to have to poison over here, and we're going to be able to throw down our Goblin Barrel and just continue to tick away at his tower, guys. That's what it's all about. Um, he's doing work over here. That goblin barrel was absolutely terrible. Um, I thought he was going to go in the back, but here we come once again, sending our miner in um, and trying to get some work done. He's zapping over there as best he can. Now he's going to poison over there. Not going to be enough. Our minions are targeted on the tower, and once we get into overtime, we're going to take that tower out. So this deck is very good at pressuring, guys, but you have to be careful not to overpressure because if you overpressure, um, you're going to run out of elixir very, very quickly, okay? So I'm going to show you all one more replay, then we're going to jump into some live attacks, okay? So in this one, we're facing Vegalite from Nova LA. Vegalite used to be in uh, in in the light with me um, and a bunch of other people. So he's a really good player. He is using a minor deck as well with Goblin Barrel. Um, there's one point. I can't wait to show you all this one thing. Uh, this, is, this is why I love the minor. You guys are going to see why I love the minor in just a little bit because... He can just he can just do some serious um, not the miner the mirror the mirror can really just throw people off guys it can seriously mess them up we're gonna counter with minions right here um, he's gonna counter with minions on our side he is gonna drop off this poison but we should be able to take them out um, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, distract over here on the right with some minions myself and then we're gonna throw in some spear gobs. Um, hopefully get them in the front so that our minions can live just a little bit longer now we're sending over the miner and he is going to send over his minions right here now watch this guys this is 
hilarious. Okay, so we're gonna use our arrows right there. I'm not going to counter uh, this miner. Okay, so we have arrows to mirror. Okay, now watch what Vega does and watch what I do. Okay, he's ready. He knows I just used my arrows. He is going to go one and two, very, very close to each other, and I'm just gonna arrow them both. Boom, they don't get off a single shot, and we give him a thumbs up. If he had thrown one and then waited just a little bit, then I wouldn't have been able to get all of them. So that was hilarious to me. That was honestly just, that ended up just being uh, lucky that I didn't, because I was about to throw my goblin barrel. I was about to throw my goblin barrel on that. Thankfully, I did not. Um, so he's about to bring his miner over, guys, and we're gonna go ahead, drop off our minions up here. Um, when people use the poison spell, guys, you gotta know kind of its radius. And as you can see, I dropped off my minions up to the top left so that some of them will just be on the border, um, not in the middle of it, uh, just getting wrecked. So we gotta be careful here. Um, playing uh, another, like, I have the goblin barrel, I have the mirror, I have the miner, and I have the minion horde. Um, as you can see, like I said a second ago, I haven't used my, um, I have not used my Inferno Tower yet, uh, so that's not, that's not really necessary in my deck right now. But as you can see, thankfully those Spear Goblins did some work. We're going to have to do a little bit of distraction over here. Um, and slowly, guys, he's going to continue dropping off those Barbarians. They're just not going to be able to do that much for him. Um, we're going to go ahead and send our Miner back and uh, drop off a Minion Horde uh, right there on the right. As you can see, it could have it been played a little bit better, but our tower, guys, is at 2100. He's going to go ahead and do all this. I'm going to go ahead and arrow this. This is where it got very, very close um, because our tower was targeted on that other thing, and that minion had no health, but it was going after it. So we're going to go ahead and send in our goblin barrel, and again, he's he can't surround with barbarians, so we're going to take that tower out. We're going to go ahead and drop off our inferno tower as well to do some work. He's going to mirror his three elixir minions. Now what is he doing? He's poisoning. He's got to get it down. He's got three seconds to get there. Even if he did, it's not going to be enough. So we are able to take him out with this deck, guys. As you all know, I don't like to use um, popular decks a lot. I like to just make up my own um, and make up things that I think will work. Now, will I base them off of popular decks? Yes. Yeah, so, like, minions and minor is kind of a staple to a lot of decks. As you guys saw, we just faced one of those. Um, but we've got the, the mirror in here. We've got spear gobs. We've got the inferno. So it is a little bit different um, than that deck that we just faced uh, right there. So you can see his right there at the top. It had barbarians. It had a poison spell, which we do not have. So let's go ahead, jump into some live battles. Who knows what's going to happen? I don't even know what is going to happen. While we wait, I will take a sip of this. Guys, I got the watermelon flavor. It's pretty good. It's not bad at all. This guy, Alan327 from HK Esports. Let's go ahead. We're going to start off with our spear gobs because if he zaps them, then we're going to... Um, come on, zap it. Please zap it. Oh, he didn't zap it, guys. I really wanted him to zap it. Nice. So he's going to do that. We're going to go ahead and push up in here. And even if he zaps now, we're going to be golden. All right, so he's going to do that. He's going to arrow that. So we're going to go ahead, drop off our minion horde right over here, take out this dark prince before he gets to our tower. And uh, that's going to be good. I don't think he's... Oh, the poison. The poison. So he's probably using some sort of double prince poison deck, guys. Now, as you can see, we do have a... Um, a mirrored uh, minion horde that we could use right now, but I don't know if I want to. Um, so we're going to save that. I'm going to go ahead and goblin barrel again, see what we can have happen over here. Go ahead and throw off some of these. Nice. All right, so we should be able to take this tower out fairly quickly with what's going on. Look at this, guys. Come on. Yes, that tower is down, guys. Uh, my screen just died, so I'm a little bit stressed about that. Um, let's go ahead and get down... Um, some minions right over here, and let's do this as well. Distract, boom, he's gonna go right there. He's going to freeze that. We're gonna go ahead and do this, and see if we can keep that up and rolling. Hey, come over here, boom, Inferno Tower retargeted, and the honestly, the Inferno Tower should take out that Prince as well, even if he charges. Oh no, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, don't let him, don't let him, yes. Nice, 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 that's what we wanted. That is what I am talking about. I'm going to pull up uh, this thing just to make sure we're still recording. I, don't, I, need to, I need to get something that makes him not fall asleep. Nick uses something called caffeine, um, but I ain't about that life. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. He's probably, did he have arrows? I think that he did have arrows. Um, we're, that, was, that was a bad play. I thought that they were going to split, but since I already have a tower down, of course, they are not going to split. Um, let's go ahead and drop off our Inferno Tower now, guys and see what we can have happen. Nice, so he's gonna go ahead and do that and check this out. 
Um, I'm going to mirror one right here. I know that may seem like a very, very bad decision. Um, and we're gonna go here, and we're gonna go here. As long as we keep one of them alone, oh my gosh. Nope, nope, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 get down, get down. Oh! What? What? Inferno Tower, take it out. How is it still alive? How is it still alive? All right, boom, we're pushing this, we're pushing this. We're not gonna let him do anything over here. Um, we've got to get this Inferno Tower up, though. Let's go ahead and bring him over here with these Spear Goblins. And now we'll go ahead and go Inferno Tower. That was so unbelievably close, guys. He just had to use his freeze over there, so so he just had to use his freeze over there, so he is not going to have it on defense over here. Wow, that was well played, but we are able to slow down the prince. He's still probably going to get off a charge. Let's go ahead and drop off our minion horde right here, and we're going to go uh, here and here. See if we can get over here, do some work, guys. We've got to get this tower down. Go ahead, drop off some minions over here. Uh, he's coming in with that, but all we have to do is take out that tower. Those minions are on it, and hopefully we can get it in time. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the W against the P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince freeze deck. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I think that we need to get to... Uh, oh, gosh. If we win one more, guys, we could be in the top three locally. And globally, we're 26th right now. It's pretty cool. So we're pushing up. Excuse me. Um, so let's keep this going. I'm loving this deck. It's a lot of fun. It really does catch people off guard. And catching people off guard makes a huge difference in game. A huge difference in game. So one thing I'll do against like giant poison guys or uh, bowler giant poison, I'll drop off my minion horde at the bridge to counter, and they'll poison right there, and then I'll mirror my minions on my tower out of range of the poison, taking out the rest of it. Um, so that's one way to take out all of that elixir. Now it is more expensive, obviously. Why, why are you already doing that? So let's see what we can have happen here. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, he's not going to zap, so let's go ahead and just throw. See if he has the zap. If he doesn't, then we're good. If he does, whatever, he's gonna arrow. Let's go ahead and mirror that goblin barrel um, and see what we can have happen here. Okay, so barbarians are coming in and he just used his arrows. So now, guys, we can use our minion horde on this oh my gosh that's beautiful that's beautiful i am totally okay with that let's go ahead and throw our miner over here um okay so he's gonna do that we're gonna go ahead and take this out though no problem come on come on come on oh i hate the mortar so much man and boom coming in with the goblin barrel trying to get some extra damage done he's gonna arrow that and we are going to be good so um here's the thing about okay yep he's he's okay yep you're muted because you're obnoxious um, all right, so what do we want to do here, guys? We have to be very, very, very careful um, of what he's going to do. All right, so there goes that. Let's go ahead and do this. And, oh, the Inferno, guys. I wanted to get it there first. At least the, uh, at least it's distracted. Um, oh, my gosh. We're going to have to arrow this. I didn't even hit the, uh, I didn't even hit the mortar. He's going to, but look at this. I mean, we got so much damage done on his tower on that last one that, Really, I'm not too worried here. He can go ahead and throw those off. Come on, take it out. Take it out. It's doing so much damage, man. Whew. That is not good. That is not good. Um, so he has his arrows. Let's see if we can make him use his arrows over here. And then we're going to go uh, full minion horde miner on that other tower right there. Come on, use your arrows. Use your arrows. Nice. Okay, so he just used his arrows. And we just need eight elixir right here, guys. And we can go take out that side. Come on, come on, come on. And I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching, and boom, we're coming at it. He is not going to have anything to do over here. Um, yes, he's going to have to counter with that fireball, and uh, we should be able to take this tower out as well. And I just called it a tower, this mortar out as well. Come on, take that mortar out. Take that mortar out. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and do this. Look at him. He's trying to get my attention over there. We're not going to let it happen. Here come his arrows. Nope, he didn't have his arrows ready. So boom, minion horde right here, automatically taking this out, guys. And uh, he's going to have to arrow it. And we're going to go ahead, drop off our Inferno Tower right over here just as a distraction. We're going to have to get our arrows down on this as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, here's the thing. He just did that. We're going to have to go into... God, Lee, the mortar is so annoying. Like, <laughs> it's just so, so... It, oh, really? It got off that extra shot? Yeah, okay, sure. Um, let's go ahead and make him use his arrows. So he's going to go ahead and do that, guys. And watch this. We're going to go ahead and draw him over here. Boom, as he drops off. Ah, oh, I thought he... Okay, our Inferno is going to take out his Inferno. So I'm totally fine with that. Let's arrow all of this. And he's going to drop off his... Um, 
He's going to drop off his mortar in just a second. There it is right there. Our Inferno should stay alive. He just arrowed. We're going to have to go and do this now. And we're going to have to send our Miner in on the Inferno. Oh, my gosh. You're so bad. You're so bad. 43 seconds. What is going to happen? I do not know, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have to go ahead, drop off our Minion Horde over here. This guy is one of the most skilled players I've ever seen in the game because he knows how to put down a tower and let it just shoot mine. Um, so we'll go ahead and do this. And uh, we've got 20-something seconds here. He's going to have to arrow that. We are going to mirror um, Goblin Barrel Miner back there. And boom, I'm coming in after it. He's going to try and defend up here. Hopefully we can take it out. His uh, thing is going to be... Oh, oh, really? Okay, so his, his mortar didn't feel like shooting back towards uh, the closer target. But we should still be fine, guys. No problem here. It's seven seconds. He's not going to be able to take our tower out. Um, unless, of course, he does have a rocket. But even then, he doesn't. So... Oh, Vegalite, this is who I showed y'all earlier. We're playing him again. What? All right, so we know what deck he's using already. Um, I am going to... Okay, no, we do not. He's switched up his deck. Um, so we're going to have that down and watch this. Honestly, we should be able to take out all of this. Boom and bop. Go ahead, do some work right here. Taking all of that out. And get that minion horde over there, baby. Come on. Tell me he doesn't have arrows. Tell me he doesn't have arrows. He just used up way too much of his elixir. He's going to have to use a poison spell very, very late there. That was clutch, guys. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Once that poison spell is gone, we're going to go ahead and push just like this. He's not going to be ready for it. We're sending it in. And there's the baby dragon going to turn around. Hopefully, our minions can take out the baby dragon. But it doesn't look like they're going to be able to because the baby dragon's freaking strong. Come on. Oh, there we go. Nice. Got off one little shot right there for us, guys. That was good. I'm definitely okay with that. Thank you very much. Um... I do think that I am going to just build this Inferno Tower down. So we're just going to get this down. It's going to be there, stationary for us. And it's just going to be hanging out. Let's go ahead and Goblin Barrel right here. He's going to probably have to counter with his Prince or his Guards. He countered with his Prince, um, again, which is totally fine with me. And now we're going to go ahead and send all these in. And uh, that Tower should take it out. There he goes over that way, guys. And we're going to send our Miner in over here. And his tower is down. I'm not too sure what he's doing right now, but our deck is absolutely roasting it. We are going to town right now on this. Um, there goes his uh, baby dragon, not knowing what to target. Um, and let's see what he's going to do here. I'm not too sure. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and just poison like that. Once the baby dragon targets, we'll go ahead and drop off our minions over here. And uh, that's going to be golden for us. So he just used that, guys. Watch this. We're going to go ahead. Mirror Goblin Barrel coming in real hot. He's going to have to make up his mind and do something over here. We're going to get zero damage done to the tower with Mirrored Goblin Barrels. You have got to be kidding me. There were six goblins over there. And none of them targeted the tower. Wow, that was so unbelievably bad. What, like, literally, what in the world just happened to, for that to be the result? He's going to poison right here. No, he's not going to poison. Let's go ahead and send in some more, and let's send over our miner and get this going. Here comes another goblin barrel. No! But the goblin should go on the back of the tower and target it and get... Oh, they got some damage done. I'm definitely okay with that, guys. We're going to go ahead... And go Inferno Tower here. And we haven't used our arrows on these goblins yet. They are doing the majority of the damage. So obviously we want them to go down. Um, here we go. We are in OTOT. -OT. Uh, we're going to go here. I want to get this uh, miner cycled through. So we're going to go straight after it. And let's get our goblin barrel coming in um, as well here. And hopefully that should do a little bit of damage for us. Not going to do too much, guys. But we are going to be able to throw this back over there. And that should be the W for us if they can indeed take it out. And they are going to. There is a victory. I'm happy that we stayed in this. And we played another one for you guys right there at the end. If you're still here, hashtag TrueMaltFan down below. Are we still fourth locally? No, we dropped down to fifth. Oh, come on. We're fourth. We're tied for fourth. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below. And I will see you all in the next episode. All right? Peace.